Okay, so today is Sunday. Last week, Sunday, I just woke up and I was just like, you know what? That's it for me and me. I need to take a break because my skin is like breaking out like a lot. And you know, the soap that I was using is no longer you is no longer working. And I just couldn't figure out what could be the problem. But like I I was a little bit stressed out. I had some things going on, but like I don't feel stressed anymore. So what is the real issue? I drink lemon water, I add cucumbers to my water, and I'm just like, you know what? It's my diet. It's my diet. So I'm like, you know what? The first thing I'm going to try to cut out, meat. You know, and I really thought that I was going to lose weight not eating meat because, like, that's one of the, like, biggest sources of protein is meat besides beans and things like that. Meat, meat, meat. And when I said, when I said I'm giving up meat, like, everybody was telling me you shouldn't just go cold turkey. You should take it, you should take it slow. First of all, I really don't eat pork. I really do not eat pork. And then I'm like, okay. I know beef is not good for you as well, but then chicken is not good for you either. So it's just like, what do I do? So I completely cut out all meat. No chicken, no turkey, no beef, no pork, none of that. So no meat at all. And, you know, at the time, I had a few um, different variety of things to eat for breakfast in my, in my house. And also um, veggie burgers from Morningstar. I love those. I could eat those every day. So yeah, so I had that stuff. So I'm like, okay, I'm good to go. I'm gonna try it for a little two weeks and see how it goes. But here I am a week later, I decided to weigh myself and I'm 122 pounds. Last week, Sunday, I was 118 pounds. I expected to lose weight, not gain weight. So I'm really kind of lost, but I'm glad for the weight gain because this I am trying to gain weight, but I just also, like my skin came first for me. So yeah, so that that was the that was the biggest thing for me that i'm like i'm like wow like i gained i actually gained weight on this kind of diet you know and like usually like i was doing a lot of research and it was saying that a pescatarian um being a pescatarian you know is 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 it will help you in your weight loss journey not a gain weight gain journey um but yeah so let's talk about the fact that this didn't make me feel full this this diet, this pescatarian diet had me hungry. Like, I'm talking about I would have three waffles, three eggs, a pack of grits, and some strawberries on the side. And after I eat all that, I, I felt like all I had was an egg. Like, I was constantly hungry. Like, constantly hungry. And I'm telling my mom, and I'm like, Ma, I just ate. How am I hungry again? I don't understand. Like, oh, maybe you should start eating more rice and more beans and, stuff like, and more pasta and, you know, stuff that's going to be more filling. So I started to do, started to um, boil a lot of pasta and I'll eat the pasta with um, the Morningstar Grillers crumbles. It's like fake beef. I would eat it with that. Or I'd eat the pasta with maybe shrimp, but like not like a shrimp alfredo or a shrimp pasta. Like I'll just have the pasta and then I'll make like a honey garlic shrimp and all that sauce I'll put on the pasta and stuff like that. So, you know, so I think that's where the weight gain uh, came from. On top of that, I was eating a lot of wraps. So like um, I'll wrap, I'll do a tortilla wrap with um, egg, just a breakfast one with egg and uh, spinach or I'll do a tuna wrap with tuna and kale or tuna and spinach um, and I'll eat that maybe with like a bag of chips or something like that um also like yeah so I was more so so yeah like I was saying I was more hungry you know my appetite was just like flowing 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 so I had to eat bigger portions of food so that was the first thing constantly being hungry number two Number two would have to be that there is no change in my skin. Okay, yes, it's only been seven days and maybe I should wait longer, but I really thought that at least after like day three or day four, there will be a change in my skin. There's no change in my skin. I do not have any before and after pictures to show you guys, but I'm telling you there is no change in my skin. I see myself every day. I know where my problem spots are and there's no change in my skin. I'm still, I'm still drinking my lemon water and my cucumber water. I'm still soaping my face as usual. I'm still using my witch hazel. I'm still doing everything like normal except the fact that I stopped eating meat and I saw no change in my skin. Like none whatsoever. Like I was seeing people saying that um, their, like, their skin made a drastic change and like um, 
the skin made a drastic change and i was seeing people saying that they was less tired and things like that my skin is still the same my skin has not made a change and today has been today is day seven and like i said before i really thought that like after three or four days i would at least see some type of change but nope no type of change number three number three would have to be that i don't go to the bathroom every day anymore um i can't like use the bathroom and when i do use the bathroom it's literally either early early in the morning or late late in the night that i have to use the bathroom like i don't like from before when i was eating meat i was constantly using the bathroom now i i probably use the bathroom every other day i don't like i can't use the bathroom and when i say use the bathroom y'all know what i'm talking about I cannot use the bathroom every day. So I don't know if that's a bad thing or if that's a good thing. I know you're supposed to be cleaning it. I know that's supposed to clean your insides out. But um, yeah, I, I am not able to use the bathroom. I'm not constipated or anything. Don't get me wrong, I'm not constipated. I just don't have the urge to use the toilet. So yeah, that was number three. Number four, headaches. Oh my goodness. Right now I have a headache. Like they're not bad headaches. They're just slight headaches. You know, like, like, mm, like a hunger headache. That's how I feel. I have a headache um, every day. Every day. Not all day, but every day I have some type of headache. And I really don't know why. Like, because I'm eating, so it can't be a hunger headache. I'm not stressed, so it can't be a stress headache. I really don't know what it is. At the first day I had the headache, I thought it was maybe because of my glasses. For those of us who wear glasses, sometimes the prescription may be a little too heavy some days, and it just it gives me a headache so i have to take it off but it's not my glasses it can't be my glasses so that's number four number five number five would have to be feeling lightheaded i feel lightheaded this would have to be majority of my day i'm constantly feeling lightheaded like i literally drive i'm literally driving sometimes and i'm feeling like i'm in a daze like like it, if i crash behind this wheel like i like i, I like i'm i'm scared like i'm scared when i'm driving um even sometimes i'm just i'm just sitting down and when i stand up lightheaded lightheaded so between the headaches and the lightheadedness i'm i'm thinking that it's, it could be like withdrawals like that's my body going through withdrawals um i didn't know you could go through withdrawals from no meat like you know people go through that with 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 drugs with drugs i did not know you could go through that with me and that's what it sounds like it sounds like i'm going through withdrawals um, from the headaches and the, the lightheadedness because like I said I'm eating I'm constantly eating I'm always hungry I'm eating so I really don't know where that came from okay so we got weight gain unexpected weight gain we got no change in skin we got headaches we got lightheadedness and we got I can't use the bathroom so those are the five things that has happened to me in just these seven days of not eating meat. Um, I think I am going to try it for another week. I'm not too sure. I think what I'm going to do is do off and on, one week on, one week off until, you know, I really get into the gist of things or maybe do two weeks, um, two weeks off, two weeks on. I really don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, depending on how I feel in the morning depends on if I'm going to continue this journey but kudos to anybody out there who has only had positive you know change and positive positive um effects from cutting meat out their life and going pescatarian um pescatarian is a healthier way um and yeah i am proof that you can gain weight being a pescatarian okay so thank you for watching and bye